Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I am going to be doing an unboxing for the 2000 AD Combat Dice uh, Strontium Dog with the Electro Nux and the Strontium Dog's Goons uh, So this is the reason why I'm doing this guys I was thinking about doing the Wer Weirders I think I'm saying that alright but then I thought why not leave that for Wednesday when I've got a bit more time going to be able to read a bit better and so on also, I want to try and get a bit catch on a bit of sleep if I can as well before editing this stuff. So, I'm going to start off with... Oh, just before I do, I also want to say a thank you to Strontium Dog, the fan-made film. Which I believe they're the same people that made Judge Minty. Which was a great... Uh, was it Muty? No, it wasn't Muty. It was, uh, it was Judge Minty, yeah. It was a good, that, I, I love the Judge Dredd uh, Minty movie. I like the Strontium Dog as well. I think the guy they got specially for... Um, Wolf, Wolf, um, Wolf Sternhammer was a, a great, great actor for that sort of part. Johnny Alpha looked great as well. Uh, but yeah, so guys, go check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below. Anyway, so let's start off with the combat dice. This is just going to be, see what you get inside. I thought doing these all together because they're just single things. And I think it'll be a bit of a waste of time for me to do a video for each. Okay, so let's have a quick open up. So in the inside, you get... Okay, so you get nine dice. No, no, more than nine. You get ten. Ten dice. And on these dice, you get... Sorry if my hands are a little dirty. I've washed them a couple of times before trying to do filming. Sorry, let me put my hand on the other side. Let me come back out. Keep my sign. So you get three hit tokens. They are your defence. And that's special. Now, I have been reading some of the rules. not been reading all of them. Just trying to get sort of some idea. I believe with special, you automatically evade. The, t the attack, but I could be wrong, guys. I don't want to just say yes. It's this and this. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the uh, specialist model. Now, the only, I, again, I believe I could be wrong, but the only way to get this model is if you bought the Strontium Dog first set, which is like Strontium Dog, the start set, the uh, Search and Destroy, the Weirdos, and the Stick Brothers. With the extra tokens, the goons, or you buy the uh, hardback rule book and you get this model with it. So let's quickly open this up and let's take a look at the model. If the packet will let me. Yep, yeah, it does. Good. Okay. So, oh. Let me move this out of the way. So you do get a, a stand with it. So I need to get myself some super glue at some point because I. I need to start gluing some of these guys to their stands, and I don't think my plastic glue, glue would do me much good. So it's it's Johnny Alpha with his Electronux, and I believe this could even be not long after he got, um, after the good, the bad, and the mutiny story, if I remember rightly, when, because he's not got his helmet on, he does look kind of ragged, but then maybe that, that could be a couple of scenes. And he does use these electric ducts quite a lot. I think, if I'm rightly, they can hurt spiritual things as well. Or things that got their own psychic powers. I do like these models. They're actually very good. They're very well done. Where's the stand? Oh, it's over there. Oh, I was about to panic there for a second, guys. I thought I lost the stand. Okay, so let's put that back there. And now we're on to the goons. Now, guys, the stats for goons are on page 84 yeah 84 in the strontium dog rulebook so these could be uh, well it's not just goons is it you, you could have them as deputy one of them I reckon you could use as a deputy not soldiers though I don't think you could use them as soldiers oh okay so this one was packed by this person here so I get the three stands so I know who to blame if there's a problem. <laughs> so you get your free stands. Also, they've got a nice little bit. So if you want to go straight to the strontium dog sort of bit there, you always get your lovely little cushion bit. Now, I think this one here, you could easily say is a deputy, maybe a sheriff, I don't know. Definitely you could get away with him as a deputy or something. Definitely not army though. But these two, I do really believe they they would be um, 
like street thugs and stuff like that. Look at the belly on him. That's kind of cool. The jacket. And I like the fact they've kept their sort of style. Oh, it's a fist. Has he got a fist knife? Oh, yeah, he has. Is it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me zoom in. So it's like a punch blade. That's cool. And you've got this gentleman here. He's, I'm trying to work. Has he got? Yeah, he's got like visors on. And he's got some like, slightly longer barrels on his guns. Looks like some leg armor, or maybe even a so. Yeah, no, it's leg armor. He may be a bit more padded armor. Could even be wearing like some visor to help target things with. Needs a bit of cleaning up as well, though. A little bit of flake, metal flake. But apart from that, nice little dagger slash knife in his back pocket there. Yeah, they look cool. So, guys, what are you looking for to coming next? Now, I've got a video that I done the other day, which was talking about what more is coming for the 2000 AD, uh, sorry, Strontium Dog. And yeah, I also want to point out, guys, that it's uh, Warlord Games, or the the game company that's uh, making these, uh, and it's also Rebellion and 2000 AD are the people that own the rights to Strontium Dog. So, yeah, also let me know in the comments down below, will you be picking up the uh, Strontium Dog Goon set? I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to do the weeds, weeds next. I'm hopefully, depending on money, unfortunately, I will hopefully be picking up the next set of um, Strontium Dog stuff when it comes out in mid-August. But I am, again, it, it's about money, and I've got to make sure I don't overdo it. So I might only pick up a couple of bits and then pick up what I haven't got a little later on. Um, because yeah, there's because there's a, there's something else coming out in August that I really really want, and I'm I'm, st I'm now trying to work out am I going to bother picking it up first or I'm going to pick it up later because that's going to be I think Games Workshop's most expensive kit, and yeah, that kind of puts me off, and I think the core door for Necromunda will be coming out around that time as well, so that's kind of like eek, oh, 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 eek for me, <laughs> and I'm not even too sure if some more. Um, Star Trek, the RPG uh, books are coming out around that time as well, so I need to be, again, kind of careful. Don't want to overspend and then have to spend many months of paying stuff off and not being able to do, do any videos for you guys. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Would you, as I said, would you buy uh, the... Would you buy the extra set of dice? I think I, I like actually having some more dice, just in case... You know, you've got that certain abilities that add stuff up with, you know, like shooting close range or if the weapon is uh, better at further, at further range, the extra dice and so on. Johnny Alpha so far is the the main character. Um, I'd like to see how he plays, if I'm being honest. Um, but again, I, I thought the Stig, Stig Brothers would be probably more powerful than they actually were. But I mean, as I said, I don't know until I've actually played the game. But yeah, Johnny Alpha is the main character, so he should be quite powerful. A bit like Judge Dredd should be the probably the most powerfulest judge in 2008 uh, game. But then at the same time, the Dark Judges would be very good themselves. So yeah, I'm hoping there's an enemy that will come along that will be just as good as Johnny Alpha. Um, I've, I've saying that there could be someone who's in the uh, rule book. They do have the list of uh, other enemies, so I'm interested in that. Also, guys, again. I uh, just want to give a shout out to the Strontium Dog fan fan movie. I'm going to put a description down below in the, uh, how to get to the link to see that. It's well worth watching. I might even put another link to Judge Minty as well because uh, Judge Minty because I think that one's brilliant. I, I really really enjoyed it. No, just as I said, I do enjoy the Strontium Dog, but Judge Minty was my favourite they've done. So and yeah, I was really impressed with that one. Anyway, guys. I hope you're having a good day. I am. So if you like this video, please click like. If you like to subscribe, please do. Every subscription helps me. Also, I've been rabbiting on for too long. I really have. Anyway, I hope you're having a good day. And goodbye.